The IRB Junior World Championship has grown in stature in recent years and is acknowledged as the foremost youth tournament in the game. In the last four years, more than 110 youngsters have graduated to full international honours. Players such as Sam Warburton, Jerome Kaino and Morgan Parra. Last year, England finished runners-up to New Zealand and the majority of that squad are still eligible for this year's tournament, which takes place in South Africa in June. Looking at last year's group, you know, near the start of the, of the season there, you had, I think, 16 of the 22 that played in the final were all involved in the Premiership that weekend, and there was a couple of guys injured and, and weren't. So we're seeing a really high transfer through into the, into the Premiership. And, of course, you know, you've now got guys who played last year who are senior caps in, in Owen. And you've got Joe Launchbury, Henry Thomas being named in the, in the Saxon squad. So you're really seeing a lot of these guys who are already pushing very hard for club honours will be pushing hard for Saxons over the next couple of seasons. Before South Africa, though, England are involved in the under-26 nations. During the next three months, we'll be getting a unique insight into the lives of young professionals by following their progress, and two players in particular. Carl Sinclair and Jack Clifford are both making their England debuts this season, but already they've made a strong impression. Both very talented lads, you know, they've come through the, the under-18 programme uh, and they're both very, very good kids to work with. Uh, very different um, in, in their own way, although the, they do live together, so uh, I don't know how that quite works out for them sometimes. I'm just a standard 18-year-old. Uh, I like to chill out mainly on the PS3 when training's done. Um, quite like eating. <laughs> rule is with Kyle is uh, if it's been down there for more than 10 minutes, it's anyone's game. And if it's not on his, if it's not on your shelf, or has been in your shelf for a while, he'll eat it. And if he likes it, he'll eat it. Both players are contracted to Aviva Premiership leaders Harlequins, but have been loaned out to lower league clubs to gain valuable first team experience. They're men you're playing with, you're not playing with guys your age. So some guys are going to be bigger, they're going to be a lot more physical. But I would say maybe at 20s, the skill level might be a lot higher and the pace will be, whereas at Richmond, it'll maybe be a bit more slower and a bit more physical, which suits me in my development as a tight proper 18. You know, I need to be in a league where it's going to be hard and really physical around a set-piece area, so it works out both ways. England's opening match in the Six Nations was a convincing nine-try display away to Scotland, with Jack Clifford marking his debut with a brace of tries. Six Nations very much about getting a look at as many of the lads as we can that we have in the squad, so they get the opportunity to, to both play for England but also to see them in that, in that shirt. Whereas World Cup, we tend to, to narrow that down a bit uh, and look way more at, uh, at more on the performance side rather than the, than the development point of view. 